hello friends in this today's video i will explain you like you know, how this aws billing works and how you can avoid the unnecessary charges so this video is completely related to the aws billing so main mode of this video i will explain you like you know, how you can write an email to the aws regarding the aws billing way of so that's the main motto and apart from that thing i'm going to cover the few like you know questions and uh, like you know first i will explain you whenever you are creating a, an aws account then what are the precaution you need to take so that's the first point then second last year i uploaded a one video regarding the aws uh, billing way of so in that comment section of that video i got in so many comment so i'm going to answer those uh, questions that i got in the comment section and in the last we'll see like you know, how can we write an email to the aws for the billing we have so let's start with the like a you know, precaution when we are create when we are creating an aws account so whenever we are creating an aws account make sure you use an debit card card not the credit card so whatever you are using debit card or credit card aws will not directly deduct money from your uh, account but for the precaution please make sure to have use a debit card then second point is the ensure you are using your own pan card don't use like any your friends your family members make sure you are using your own pan card and don't try uh, taking any random bank card number from the google because that is also not going to work because this year aws has start, started the pan card verification so that will also not work for you and the third part, part part is like you know whenever you are uh, like you know, creating an aws account make sure you are using whatever your credit card pan card use your own details there and fourth I have like marked this point as a red because uh, this budget budget setup is a must means means whenever you are like you know, created an AWS account you first you have to create your budget so once you have click let me just demonstrate to you how to create an budget in the AWS so now I'm in the uh, my AWS account so uh, let just like you know search for the billing So first option is like in billing and cost management. This is service. So in the navigation panel, you will see the option of like in a budget. This is the budget option. So I have created here already one budget, which is like in a my zero spend budget. Means like in a let me just show you. You have to just create the same budget in your AWS account. So click on the create budget. So in the template section, you have like an already selected zero zero spend budget. Then just uh, give the name of the budget and just add your email address. Address means whenever like you know you are like an you know, AWS billing is more than zero point zero one dollar, you will receive receive the mail from the AWS that you you, you you means you have exceeded your charges. For example, my email is like an the similar way you can add like you know, multiple emails by command and just once done you just click on the create budget so whenever you got like an uh, for like an uh, for uh, like an any charges uh, more than forecasted amount then you will receive an email so that's the main thing now let me just uh, like an you know, I did I got this question uh, in, in my last video so I I just created a list like in you know, first question is like you know does AWS take a legal action such as like in you know, uh, filing a lawsuit or involving any kind of police action in that when if we do not pay the AWS bills so first thing is like the straightforward answer is no aws will not take any extreme legal action on you if you not paid their bills so like in a, be comfortable if you if you have like an independent list don't worry about it so that's the first question then second question is like you know, does aws 
automatically deduct payments for bills from my account using credit card or debit card so whenever we create an aws account aws saves our details in the like in, if you like in a scroll down here here is the another, another option of payment pre preference so in the payment uh, preference you have like in a your uh, your uh, credit card or debit card details saved in, in this section so but aws will not automatically deduct your payment because uh, when you have like an auto pay set up then and then aws can uh, automatically deduct otherwise aws don't deduct any money from your account uh, like an, this is the for the like an account verification otherwise this is not for the automatically deduct payment deduction method so don't worry about this also like you know aws will not deduct any money directly from your account without your confirmation so this is the second question then third was one is should i pay my all bills so answer is no if you like any you know, use your account for the testing and the learning purpose then please don't pay your bills rather you can like you know, go and request for the billing way off or you can like you know if you have like any important data in your aws account then and then you can pay the bills otherwise please don't pay if you are like you know, use it for testing purpose only and don't worry about if if you have like any major unpaid bills because when i was this uh, doing practice on the aws that uh, i almost created four five aws account and and in one account i remember which had like a billing more than the one lakh because i was using that aws quick site service so it has like an around it that time it have like an around 300 or 400 uh, dollars subscription per month so that bill also i i haven't paid till now so please don't don't pay any bill to the aws then the so can i create a fourth question is like can i create a new aws account if i already have one unpaid account no in most of the cases aws whenever you are like in creating an aws account then that time you have adding your own personal details like pan and all these things email id so whenever you are like in trying to create a new account aws will ask you to pay the your existing account bill and then and then you can create a new account so you are not able to create a new account using the same email id and same bank card so that's the thing you have to keep in mind and the question five is like you know uh, how to request aws billing way of per units means for example you you have used your account for the testing purpose and you got like you know, 5 10 maybe 50 dollars or maybe 100 dollars billing and you are completely uh, unaware of those things like you know, what where, from which service i got this billing then in that situation you can write a uh, uh, request to the aws that please forgive my bills because i am i am completely uh, like an you know, unaware of these services i i use this for the testing purpose so this i will demonstrate you now like you know, how you can write an e email to the aws and i will show you my existing email where, where like an aws almost like in a uh, like in a way of my six seven dollars uh, last maybe last month so i will show that also so go to your like an aws account then search for the support so open this is in the new tab so this is my support console so in the support console in the navigation panel you have like an uh, option of your support cases click on it uh, i have already this uh, two cases like uh, created so just ignore it just click on the create case option then select the account and billing option then in the service uh, select, select the billing then category payment issue and uh, severity you can add like a uh, general question and click on the next step so like uh, uh, this is the like in uh, a subject line you can add here then 
this is the email so in the documentation i have already given the subject line and the email so i will give all these things in the uh, like in this in the video description so in the this is the like an options are recommended you can uh, uh, like an uh, add any random details here for example 100 dollars and the you can add like a one whatever billing like in a 15 dollars and then click on the and frame you can add like two or some this this is like in a just for the recommended field so you can add whatever data you have like in like in a because of which services uh, you got the bill so you can add that kind of details here and uh, in this box you can paste this email and the uh, subject line uh, you can add here subject line now click on the next option so aws give, will give you the recommendation links from which you can also read and get your like in a query result but we'll click on the next option and uh, uh, you have like in three options like in here web chat web means yeah, you are going to communicate with aws team using the emails and phone means aws like in a call back on your like mobile phone and third one is chat so please select this chat option once you click on the submit uh, here on the screen it will open a new chat window where the aws support member joins with you and they will ask you the few questions you just you have to answer them and they will proceed with your billing way of request so same thing i did it before let me just show in the same account so i'm going to cancel here clear page so let me so this is my uh, request so let me just open this uh, because this account was used by my friend so he is a developer so he didn't know uh, like in a uh, which service is causing the like in a uh, billing so he just like in a uh, like in a not much it was like in a five six or seven dollars only so i just requested to the aws to just buy off this billing so in the similar way i just uh, like in a written mail to the aws like uh, this mail i have like in a uh, like in a send to the aws then i j i connected with one aws support member which is ad junior let me just okay so now you are able to see like in a this ad junior person join with me then he asked this few questions then I just answered them like you know I I used this for the testing for you can re, uh, pause the video and uh, read our all the con conversation it is junior means support member and the customer means I uh, I'm writing from my side then it again the same uh, like in you know, what uh, related to the account then third like you know it is uh, that support member like in a uh, to proceed the billing admin ad adjustment so support member wants to set up the budget from my side so if you see i recently shown you that this budget so here i have just created the budget i and i Send, I replied them like in a pre, uh, high ID. I have I created a zero spend budget in the AWS account. Can you pr proceed with my billing adjustment request? Then later, like in a ID replied that I am happy to inform that uh, as a one time exception, we have proceeded the billing adjustment. So in the July month, I was having like an around six dollar, and August month, I have around having nine dollars. So total seven dollars is got paid up from the AWS support team, and uh, I just send them send them like thank you for the billing adjustment, and that's it. Like you know. it's a simple. For, just make sure like you know, whenever you are like you know, writing a request for the 
AWS billing web app then you have to make sure you, like you know you are you have deleted all the like any resources in in AWS account that causing the billing like you know any service you are using that causing the billing so you have to just delete those resources and then and then a AWS team will proceed the billing adjustment request so this is the thing in that way you can write an email and you AWS team will like and wave up your billing so this case I written like in you know, two months back and it got resolved so that's the thing and the another question like you know, uh, if you are not, not going to use your AWS account then last question I will write here is like you know how to close your AWS account So once you once like you know many people receive the bills from the AWS and then they are not aware of like you know so they just want to like you know, close the AWS account. So the, for closing the AWS account, you have to log in in your account as a root user. First thing means like you know email ID and the password, not the IAM user. So once you log in, then click on this drop down and click on the account option. so this is my account details and in the above section you will see like in you know, a close account option so just click on that option and like in you know, uh, just uh, copy this your uh, account id and paste it here and click on the close account so after 90 days aws will delete your all the data in your AWS account so if you want to like an you know, reopen you have like an you know, 90 days so in that 90 days you can write uh, support case to the AWS reopen my account I want to use this account so after 90 days you are not able to reopen this account so before closing just keep this thing in your mind so these are the things you have to make sure whenever you are like you know, using AWS account yeah, like you know so i would like to explain all these things in this video so if you like and you know, have still the questions related to the aws billing and uh, that you have the account in which you have used for the pur learning purpose so please let me know in the comment section and i hope i have co you got like you know, some information from this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for the for watching this video.